Hey guys, it's Courtney from Yellow Daisy. Welcome back to our channel. It's February, which means it's Heart Health Month. So this month, Mom and I are doing the Mediterranean Challenge. The Mediterranean diet is great for heart health. So today, I'll show you my grocery haul and meal prep for the work week. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you soon. Okay, so here is the book that I have been following that my friend Winnie Jo Peterson wrote. It is full of, at the beginning, it has all sorts of information on the Mediterranean diet. And then in the back, it's got a bunch of recipes. So I've been following that. There's even pictures. Um, so these are the recipes I've been using so far. And then for my meal planner, I have this awesome meal planner that my mom got me for Christmas by uh, Carrie L. I will link you to her page, but it is so great. It's got month and then at the beginning, and then it's got different days. Obviously I use this all the time, but it has your little mini and then it's got a little perforated edge for your grocery list. And you just rip it off. I can do it. super easy so here's my grocery list here's what I'm planning on to make for dinners I don't have breakfast or lunch on there change my mind every day and then in the back they have this really cool thing it's gatherings so for your different events that you're gonna have and then a little notes section I love this little thing and with a little you can add your own recipes in here it's awesome so I'll link you to that and then I'll also link you to the Mediterranean diet cookbook too all right, I'm heading to the grocery store. So I'm back from my grocery trip, and I just want to show you guys everything that I got on my trip. So first of all, we got some Chianti wine. It's um, some red wine, and this is definitely Mediterranean approved. And then when I was walking into, I get most of my groceries at Aldi if I can um, save a little bit of money. And when I was walking in, they had these really cool little... Um, pastas. So this one is a organic black bean spaghetti and it has 25 grams of protein um, with only 19 grams of carbs. So I'll show you a little closer view of it and of course it's backwards. That's really cool. And then the other one that I got, this one is organic soybean spaghetti. Um, ingredients organic soybeans that's all it has in it and then uh, protein is 24 grams and carbs are 20. that's that one and the ingredients in this one i didn't say it's just organic black beans i just thought those were kind of neat and i wanted to try them they were only like a dollar 99 or something so i thought that was cool um free range chicken broth low sodium uh, diced tomatoes for the recipe I'm making, uh, manicotti noodles for one of the recipes, um, and then typical, I have eggs, and then I also got just chicken, for chicken breast, um, and then for my fruit this week, I got mango slices, blueberries, because I'm on a blueberry kick right now. Banana. And that's it. Oh, and I brought these bought these little um, freeze-dried strawberries. Um, Winnie Jo made this yogurt bowl that I wanted to try with chia seeds, flax seeds, and these freeze-dried strawberries. And then I also found these little things, which I thought look really good. This is a Mediterranean feta orzo salad. Um, it's got some ingredients in it that I would prefer not to have, but it was a good, you know, on the go choice. And then also this chickpea salad, which is my absolute favorite. It's so delicious. It's very, it's full of flavor and it's got olive oil and citrus in it. And it's just, it's delicious. It's one of my favorites. If you can see that. And then, so for my fruit, or actually, sorry, I forgot about this. I got um, a bag of fruity apples. 
I'm gonna make a Fuji apple um, salad for lunch or for a snack. Um, and then for my salad, I got this for tonight because we're having some friends over for dinner. And then I got butter lettuce, which is my favorite, it's the lightest on your stomach, intestine. And I got this broccoli slaw. I really like this to add to my salads. It just gives a little bit of crunch and texture. Um, it's got broccoli, carrots, and cabbage that they've shredded, and it's just really good. I like to add that to my salad. And then for a pre-made salad, I love this one. It's so good. It's a sweet kale salad. It has dried cranberries, um, sunflower seeds, and then a tangy citrus dressing. It's super easy to mix up. I just mix it in my little salad um, bowl and mix it all up, and it's delicious. And I'll eat this for like two days for lunch. And then I got some fresh greenings for to eat with some chicken one night. And then this spinach, this is for one of my recipes. And then I got these little carrots. These are really interesting. I've never seen these. Rainbow cut peeled baby carrots. So they've got like white, red, and orange, and they're organic, and I just thought it was really cool. And I'll get closer. I thought it was neat. And then I got broccoli for my recipes. And then we're making homemade pasta tonight, so I got these tomatoes and basil. And then some yeast because I'm making homemade bread tonight and homemade pasta. Um, with this diet, it's better to make everything homemade rather than buy pre-made things. Um, so that's what I'm really trying to do. It's very time consuming, but it's definitely the best thing to do. Now with that, I'm just, I don't even know how to make pita chips, but I'm trying to eat more hummus because it's very Mediterranean. So I bought these pita chips. These actually were the best out of all of them. I looked at all the different brands, and this Hair Cedar Organic brand was the best. It only has wheat flour, sunflower oil, um, organic canola oil, yeast, and then sea salt. So everything else had at least 10 ingredients, and this only had like five. So and then baby spinach. Um, this is also for a recipe. And then I got... Um, different cheeses, goat cheese, and then I got this mascarpone cheese. I've heard this is delicious and I wanted to try it and Aldi had it for sale for like $1.99 or something. It was really cheap. And then I am going with prosciutto for our um, pizza this week. Um, when we were in Italy, they made their pizzas a lot with prosciutto. So I wanted to, I was feeling nostalgic in the grocery store. And then I've been trying to do the kombucha. Um, fermented foods are really good. Um, so this is something that I've been trying to incorporate with the Mediterranean diet. So I found some, I'm allergic to lemon, so I can't have that. And I found four different ones that do not have lemon in them. So this is the mango, the passion berry bliss. Um, it's got passion fruit juice and blackberry juice instead of the lemon, so that made me happy. And then ginger berry, and I love ginger, so I'm really excited to try this one. And then strawberry with strawberry is my absolute favorite, so I was really glad that there wasn't any lemon in this one. So that is my haul. That's everything that I got. Um, what I'm going to do is go ahead and pre-make some salads up besides just go ahead and I'm, I'm going to mix like these, these two and go ahead and cut up cucumbers. Go ahead and make some salads for the week for work and then um, just organize it all in my um, refrigerator. And then I'm also going to put together all the berries and fruits and go ahead and pre-make that for the week. And then I'm going to go ahead and make my pasta sauce. Um, that I'm actually going to use um, for my pizza too. It's, it's the same thing. Um, and then I'm going to break out all of my um, chicken for the week and go ahead and put them in freezer bags and throw them in the freezer. Okay, so what I'm going to start off doing first is soaking my vegetables and fruit in water. Um, I actually add in the Thieves Household Cleaner 
here's what the new one looks like. I just have a little bit left of my old one, so I'm gonna use that one. Then you just do a cap full and just mix it in there. And then I'll pour my blueberries in. So one of the things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put this in there, pre-mix it, but don't add in the dressing. So that's what it looks like. It's really good. And then I'm gonna just put this right on top for when I'm ready to go. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to make water, um, flavored water. So I have this little pitcher and it's really cool. It comes with a little area. You can put all of your fruits and herbs in and it's super easy. So I'm gonna do lime, mint, so I used a half a lime, a few sprigs of mint, and then a lot of cranberries at the bottom. And you just put the little lid on and slide it right in this little thing, and then you'll just fill it with water. Now this has been sitting in here for a little while, so I'm gonna go ahead and scoop it out and put it in here and just let it drain in the sink for a little bit. This week I'm making a few different salads. I get really bored with my lunches, so I have to mix it up a little. Both of them have sun-dried tomatoes. One of them has goat cheese with an apple and the other one feta cheese with an avocado. I'm making the apple and walnut salad from the cookbook that I mentioned earlier. It's got orange juice, honey, olive oil, apples, walnuts, and I added in mango instead of the dried apricot. Leave us a comment below if you also eat a Mediterranean diet. And leave me your meal prep tips. Here's what it looks like. And last, I measured out my pita chips for the week. And here's all my food prepped for the week. And it only took me one hour to do it all. I hope that this has motivated you to meal prep. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.